You're watching a P-Rob Media production. What's up, Diabetes family? Welcome back to another edition of Diabetes Kitchen. In today's episode, we are doing a coconut curry cauliflower. And if you are new to this channel, I want to be the first to say welcome to the Diabetes family. And also, even though this channel is for my diabetic brothers and sisters, it is also for the people who are on that health food journey. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know every time I drop a new video. And with all that being said, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, and I'll see you on the other side. Holla at ya boy. Roll the intro. Okay, diabetes family, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take one medium sized head of cauliflower and we are just going to cut the stems off just like this. Now, you can use your hands if you like and just pull it off, but I'm gonna be fancy and use my knife. And then we're going to slice it in half just like we're doing right now. And we're going to take the stem off just like that. Now we are just going to pull the florets and put it into our colander because later on we are going to put it in the sink and wash it. Make sure you wash all your vegetables, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to take a sheet, a baking sheet. We're going to spread it all around just like that. This is to just make it, make sure it bakes evenly. And then we're going to take our olive oil, virgin olive oil, and then we're going to spread it all around the cauliflower. You can do virgin olive oil or uh, avocado oil. And then we're going to put our paprika on top. Just be really generous with the paprika. And then our onion powder. And if you like, add some garlic powder as well. You can be pretty creative when it comes to seasoning your cauliflower before you put it in the oven. And then I'm going to add a couple dashes of Himalayan sea salt. And you guys know how I feel about the Himalayan sea salt. You feel me? Himalayan sea salt is a mineral and it dissolves easier in your body. So now we're going to take our hands. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. We're gonna mix everything around. Make sure everything is nicely coated and infused. Spread it around. Put it in the oven on 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Now, as that is cooking, we are going to prepare all of our vegetables. We are going to use two, we're gonna use actually one onion, yellow onion at that. And I'm not going to waste too much time in slicing and dicing this thing, because you guys already know I have my little contraption here, and I'm just going to make my little cubes just like that. I will leave the link below on where you can get this item from the kitchen. This item is going to make your cooking experience so much easier. And now we're going to use a green bell pepper. We're gonna do the same thing with the green bell pepper, cut it up in small, you know, little chunks, and then we're going to put it in our contraption and make our beautifully cut cubes. See how easy that is, ladies and gentlemen? You're not just learning how to do healthy stuff at the Diabetes Kitchen, but we are being convenient as well. Now we're going to do the same thing with our red bell pepper. We're going to slice it in half and cut it into fours and repeat the process of what we did with our onions and the green bell pepper. It's just that simple, just that easy. This recipe is really, really simple. It is like a pretty much a 30 minute or less type of recipe. You can do this, you know, when you get off of work or home from school. Just quick and easy. 
if you haven't already check out my coconut curry chickpea recipe it should be displayed off to the top right so now we are going to just do a rough chop of our cilantro cilantro is just going to it's not going to actually be cooked inside but it's going to be like our garnish but it does add that extra kick that we are going to need for this dish and we're going to put it off into our containers i like to use containers just to separate everything and keep everything nice and neat so now that we have everything chopped up and our cauliflower should be almost done we are going to start by adding avocado oil and coat the bottom of our pan just like that yeah and then we're going to add our onions once we add our onions we're going to give it a nice little mix make sure everything is with the avocado oil and the onions is nicely infused the kitchen is smelling amazing but we are also going to add our chili flakes now if you have a sensitive palate i suggest you skip this chili flake step but i like a little heat so i'm adding chili flakes to my dish and then we're going to add a dollop well a tablespoon of minced garlic i usually use fresh garlic but um i ran to the store and i didn't pick up any whole garlic so i'm using minced garlic i would prefer you guys use regular whole garlic instead of minced garlic but that's just me but anyways we're just going to give it a nice mix make sure everything is nicely infused with the garlic the the chili flakes and the onions with the oil i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen this kitchen is smelling so good i wish you guys were here so now we're going to use two tablespoons of curry powder some masala seasoning that's going to be one tablespoon and then we're going to use one tablespoon of turmeric turmeric is an anti-inflammatory i suggest you guys add this to your repertoire you guys need to stop sleeping on turmeric i'm telling you so once we add all the ingredients we're just going to mix everything around again make sure it's nicely infused and then we're going to let it chill for a minute you know what i mean we're going to let it just soak up all the seasonings and the aromatics together now we're going to add our red and green bell peppers now look how beautiful these colors are these colors are entering in your body these colors are what you need on a daily basis ladies and gentlemen now we're going to add some more himalayan sea salt i would say about one to two tablespoons and then we're going to add our cracked black pepper now you can use regular pepper but i'm you know just displaying my little fancy gadget so um I'll leave the link below if you uh, want these uh, salt and pepper little machine things. I don't know the name of them, but I'll leave the link below. Now that we have everything nicely mixed together, we are going to add one can of tomato sauce. We're gonna give it a nice mix. Now, once you have everything nicely infused, we are gonna go ahead and add our coconut milk. Just like that. Now, this is just going to bring everything together. Now, everything is brought together. We're going to mix it up and the color that we're looking for is going to look just like this. If it doesn't look like this, you did something wrong. Now, I'm just playing, but it really should look like this. So now that we have everything nice and simmering, our, our cauliflower is out of the oven and we are going to add it to our pot, just like that. It's really simple. This recipe is really simple. Um, I did this with chickpeas, like I said before in the video, 
and it turned out amazing i wanted to experiment and do a cauliflower you know what i mean i've done everything else with cauliflower so i wanted to do a cauliflower coconut curry you know and to be honest ladies and gentlemen this tasted amazing you feel me your boy did its thing you know what i mean like that's what it's all about it's all about experimenting and and getting in the kitchen and and experimenting with different flavors and different types of fruits and vegetables and stuff like that that's what it's really all about that's how i got a lot of these ideas was just playing around in the kitchen because i got bored with other things so now that everything has simmered for about 10 minutes we are done ladies and gentlemen so now we are going to sprinkle our cilantro on top this is like the cherry on top i mean it's just going to make the dish look super amazing super good and it's going to add to that flavor now here's a little quick tip I would suggest you guys use a lime, some lime juice and put it on top as well. It's going to taste so good. So here we are, the end result. It took me about 30 minutes, about 35 minutes to really make this dish. Now I want to take the time and thank each and every one of you for watching my video. I also want to say happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful mothers out there that are actually putting into that work. And anyways, I want to end on this note. If you eat good, you live good, and you feel good. And don't forget to tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Holla at ya, boy. Peace.